Hey guys, Too Legit City here. I know that a lot of you guys had questions about how to build the infinite spill tank, and today we're going to be going over step by step on how to build the infinite spill. We'll attach it to the video as well so that the people that watch that other video will be able to see this. But um, it's I thought it was very straightforward, but we'll show you guys exactly how it's done. Now, of course, you guys already saw the design right here that we have in place. The liquid pump design, six tiles, the double ladder so that we could walk inside, have the hydro sensor, all that's explained on the other video. But to get it started, usually what you would have to do is just build your design. If you want to change up how the airflow design works, you can. Uh, for the most part, the only parts that matter is this part to never be changed. Everything else after that at the bottom, I would keep the hydro sensor right below the gas lock. And then if you want to put something else in here, you can move the pump lower, put in another building. That's up to you. But otherwise, you do need the airflow tiles. Uh, you guys could use doors instead if you guys would like to but it's really up to you and the size at the bottom doesn't matter as long as this is stayed just like that now the only other thing is that this tile has to have an airflow below it so usually this is going to stay too and it's going to be from the airflows here 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 that you guys could extend out of course you guys could also flip the build to have it on the left side if you guys would like to but at the very beginning, you just have to have the build in place. Now, for the most part, there is no real gas lock or anything. Everything is just oxygen. And what you need to do here is to fill up the bottom six tiles first. Now, you're always going to have a two element gas lock right here. So you just need to have space for that. And then whatever space you have for your other room, you just have to fill it up. So we're going to fill this up. All right, so we filled up the uh, water tank as you only need to fill up the six tiles. You don't need to fill it up all the way. And the next thing you needed to have was the spill path over here. Now, this amount doesn't matter. This is usually where you're spilling in the water anyways or where your geyser is located. And usually all you have to do is keep that layer of water there without mopping it up. Make sure you don't mop that. And then afterwards, we could start worrying about the gas lock. Now, the gas lock in our case is going to be right here. One of the elements is going to be the element that's already surrounding us, and that is going to be oxygen. So as you can see, we already have a gas vent right here. And that's going to be how we're going to actually get the carbon dioxide into here. So we have a CO2 line that's coming up that's going to our rocket line, and we're just going to be very easily grabbing one element. Now, we'll just have it like that. Now, since our vent right here is overpressured, what we're going to be doing instead is we could actually deconstruct the pipeline. And by doing so, we'll release the CO2 into the immediate area. So we're going to select the gas pipe for deconstruct. And we're going to wait for a dupe to do that. Now, once we did that, you could see that it releases a bubble of CO2. And now we have our two gas lock that allows us to turn this back on as we could just grab the water and continue with the spill. So with the two gas lock right now, you have the infinite spill animation that you are looking for. This will never break as long as the door is locked. And then from there, all you need to do is remove the pipeline. For the most part, you guys could also keep the pipeline there if it's something you're worried about, if your lock might break, something along those lines. Having a little bit of gas right there wouldn't hurt you. But that's how you build the infinite spill. Very straightforward. We went about how to build, what you could modify, the order of the operations, and of course, how to set it up. If you guys have any more questions about this design, leave a comment down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the build and was informed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, you guys.